we're going to look at this Atlantic division, starting off the 76ers. Uh, Ask you out of over, under, on wins, but we're going to start off with a question for this team. Is this their best chance to get it done since having that Jimmy Butler squad? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about him before. They, having PG on that team and having Embiid, if he's really lost 25 pounds like they say he has, uh, and he's on Weight Watchers now, then I think that they have a really good chance to go out there and, and compete. And, and look, Paul George has never played with a player like like Embiid, never played with a guy who is that dominant, who commands that attention from a defense, that much attention. And so he's going to get a lot of open shots. And that guy's a too good of a player to be getting open shots. So you, you, he's in line to have a career year. And I think very highly of Tyrese Maxey. I mean, if the Knicks didn't make this trade, I didn't think the Knicks would be better than them. I didn't think the Knicks were going to beat them in a seven-game series. I mean it. I, I, this trade was necessary. Uh, and I think it wasn't – and they were always looking to do it. So it wasn't in direct response to the, the, the Sixers. But obviously we I, we know now they were always trying to get rid of Julius Randle. I told you so, Knicks fans. But, um, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, with this team and with the Sixers makeup, they got a lot of good pieces. You know, getting Co- uh, Mark, Caleb Martin for basically for free. You know, for another pack of Nike socks, they went out and got him. And so now we're in a situation where this team is deep, too, and they're a contender. And if the ball bounces the right way, they can win. They could they could get to the conference finals. They're, they're that talented. But I just, you know, and I don't want to compare it to the Knicks. That wasn't the question. The question was something along the lines of what's their over under? Are they good enough? They're, are they a good team? Are they improved? Yes, they are. They're improved. Um, I, I think if I had to rank them, you know, in that in that division alone, uh, they're the third best team, third best team. But they could, on a good day, they can get the Celtics up, the Celtics up out here because Jason Tatum and you know he's a weird dude. I mean, we know he don't he don't show up every night, so he's a weird guy. So yeah, that's just the best way to put him. He's a weird he's Jekyll and Hyde. So um, they can still get them out of here. Over and under for the 76ers on the wins. The 76ers are. At 52 and a half wins, over or under? I say over. Um, I think they're going to be good enough. But all this, you know, all this depends on health. Like like most teams, but even more so this team. Like Paul George has dealt with a lot of injuries over the last four or five years. And Bede, I mean, his track record is well known at this point. So if those guys can stay healthy, then sure, over 52 wins should, shouldn't be a problem. But – Let's say MB gets hurt. Now it's on. Um, no, I'll still say because they did sign Andre Drummond. So they do have a, a solid backup for them if that injury does happen. So I'll say they'll, they'll be consistent and win over 52. Hey, I want to say, too, that Andre Drummond signing, really underrated. And he came out and said he's the best rebounder ever in NBA history. I don't know if I go that far. But the Drummond disrespect, y'all got to stop because Drummond definitely is a top five, top ten rebounder. If you go check the stats, Andre Drummond rebound that rock. So give him some credit and some love on that front. He's just he's just Angel Reese with a handle. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. 